let's get started. Uh, but before we get started, let me show you that my device at this moment is not rooted. If I go to the app launcher, as you can see, I have neither King Root nor Super Sue installed on my device. But let's go ahead and confirm that. If I head over to the Root Check app, which is a free app from Play Store, and as you can see, it says my Samsung Galaxy S4 is not rooted, which means my device at this moment is unrooted. So without any further ado, let's get root. Okay, just download it onto your device. You will need to turn off your device and boot into your device custom recovery. For that, you will need to completely turn off your device. Once your device is completely turned off, you will need to boot into your device custom recovery. Now for most Samsung devices, it's volume up plus the home button plus the power button pressed at the same time. Once you see the boot animations, release that and it will take you to the custom recovery. Now my device is running on the TWRP or Twerp custom recovery. Your device might be running on a different custom recovery like Clockwork Mod or Fills, but either ways the process from now on is same no matter what device you have or which custom recovery your device is running on. Next up, head over to the install option in your custom recovery. It's usually located at the top and locate the supersue.zip file that you just downloaded. Now since we downloaded the file directly from our device itself, it should be in the download folder. Once you locate the root package, select it and flash it onto your device. The custom recovery will flash the file onto your device. It will take only a couple of seconds. And as you can see, it's already done. That was quick. Once the root package is flashed on your device, restart your device. If you had followed the instructions correctly and if the supersue.zip file was flashed properly, you will see a new app in the list, which is the supersue app, which means your device just got rooted. But let's go ahead and open it up. As you can see, we have no binary update error, which means this process was a big success. But let's go ahead and confirm that by running the root check app, grant the root permissions, and ho ho, as you can see, my Samsung Galaxy S4 just got rooted. So, yup, there we have it. That's the most easy.